Good day, folks. Welcome to the academic component of your internship for the spring of 2021. Um, this is a fantastic time to be doing an internship because how work is done is changing uh, from protocols around safety to virtual internships to how we engage with people is changing every single day. The demands on our time are increasing and we're challenged to adapt, be resilient, and embrace new things. And that's important for the development of your career. Uh, it's gonna help you get some solid frontline real work experiences. And through the academic component, we'll try to tie it all together. Is what you're learning in the class, how is what you're learning in the classroom applied in the real world, especially with things changing? Uh, you're going to learn about the skills that are needed for your future success and to confirm that you either want to go down this path or you've tried it and it doesn't work. And that's okay. That's what internships are about, is to learn. Um, there's a couple of components that we have that we'll go through in the moment. But I think when we look at what we're trying to do here at Geneseo is to provide you with experiential learning opportunities. And that's what it is. And we have learning goals uh, for both our Bachelor of Science program and our Bachelor of Arts and Economic program, depending what you're in. Um, and the first three uh, are essentially the same. Strong analytical skills, strong quantitative skills, effective communication skills. And for those of you with the BS, understanding of various functional areas of business, for those of you that are in economics, uh, that you're going to have a thorough understanding of key economic theories. But they're all interrelated, interconnected. And this program, both what you're doing in the real world, in your internship, and what we're doing in this class, support those goals. How are we going to evaluate you? Well, 58% of your grade is going to be based on your field supervisor, supervisor evaluation of the work experience. That's the, the BOSE. 12% uh, on weekly reflections, 20% on the discussion forum, and 10% on a final oral report, which will be either live or recorded on Zoom. Um, the field, work, field supervisor uh, directs all day-to-day -day activities. Um, they're going to be asked to complete an evaluation of you, um, and there's going to be an evaluation at the end that career services will send out. And you're responsible for making sure that they are completed at, by the dates indicated and either make sure it's submitted electronically or get a copy yourself. And this is all adds up to 100 and this determines the grade. Um, the following is how the employer will evaluate you. Uh, we, we've done it um, on a skills. We've at, we'll ask them to say, if there was an entry level position, do you exceed expectations? Meet them, meet most, meet some, doesn't meet. So the things that they're going to evaluate are, what's your academic preparation? Do you know the concepts and content? Communication, the ability to express ideas verbally and in writing. Ability to plan, organize, and prioritize work. Ability to make decisions and solve problems. Ability to obtain and process information. Analyze quantitative data. Work as a team and then use technology. And then how do you fit in in the work environment? So these are all important skills for your success. So I'm assuming that everybody here will meet, at least meet or exceed all of the expectations uh, because you've been well prepared. But these are the things that we're asking the employer to focus on. The next thing you have is the weekly reflections. These are weekly, so you need to complete them on a weekly basis. Um, and it should address these questions. What did you learn? Subject matter or a skill? What success do you have within context of what you did? What do you do better or different next week? What do you hope to achieve? And then respond to any questions that are posed to you. I've actually posted a suggested format that has this in. As soon as you go to weekly dis reflections, you'll see the form there. I encourage you to use it because it gives us a nice focus and a nice structure. And I think if we look at it, you set learning objectives, not just tasks, but learning objectives. 
and I suggest that you go through and look at one each week. Uh, 12 jur journals during the semester. Each one is worth one point, not to exceed 12. And if you don't submit in, there will be a penalty. Um, there will be a dis four discussion modules consisting of an online lecture and an activity related to the lecture. Um, the first one is getting started. For those of you that have done this before, uh, I have a separate activity for you to do, and you'll see it noted there. Uh, effective business communication is our second one. And again, if you've taken the, this for academic credit before, uh, there is a specific part for you to address that's different than those that are taking it for academic credit the first time. The last uh, two um, are going to be on diversity and inclusion and COVID-19 in your future. So those will be new for everybody. Um, each one is going to be worth each one is going to be worth five points and is going to be graded. Little metrics there. Uh, at the end of the semester, you're going to make an oral presentation that reflects the internship. It'll either be you and I alone, with other interns, with other faculty, with your sponsors, your family, your friends, whatever you want to do. And it's to help develop your interview skills and your communication skills. So there's a specific approach that's laid out here. Uh, I'm not going to go through it now, but you can read that. And when are things due? Uh, you can see the due dates here, March 1st, March 25th, April 15th, May 10th. Um, career Services, as I said, is going to put that out. So that's the class. If you have any questions, please make sure to reach out to me. If something isn't working in your internship, best to let me know sooner than later so that we can do something. Don't wait until the end and say, oh, I didn't know that, or oh, I had this problem. Uh, keep me in the loop. I'm here to meet with you virtually by appointment. Um, I want you to be successful. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. And welcome.